What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your RockMix 8 with your computer and DAW. Now we can also connect the RockMix 8 to our laptop or computer, so we can use it for playback and use it as an interface to record onto our computer. So for that, I'm gonna take the included USB-B to USB-A cable. I'm gonna connect the USB-B end into the mixer. Then I'm gonna connect the USB-A end into my laptop. Because I'm using a newer laptop, I'm using a USB-C to USB-A converter, so I'm gonna plug my mixer into the USB-A port of that converter. So now that our mixer is receiving power from our computer, I can then go ahead and turn on my mixer. So now to hear everything from my laptop coming through the mixer, I'm gonna go to the sound settings and adjust the input and output settings. So now I'm in the sound settings where I can adjust the input and output device and set it to the appropriate setting so I can use my mixer. So we'll start with the output setting first. You have a list of different devices that you can use for your output. And the device that you're actually gonna look for to use your mixer is this USB audio codec here. So whenever you're looking to switch the input or output device to the mixer, you're gonna be looking for the USB audio codec. So I'm gonna click on USB audio codec. So now I can use the mixer as my output device. Then I'm gonna switch over to the input menu here. And again, you'll see all these different devices we can use. So I'm gonna click on USB audio codec to set my mixer as the input device. So now this way, any microphones or instruments connected to the mixer will come into the laptop and everything coming from the laptop will come out through the mixer out to our speakers. However, if you do wanna hear anything coming from your laptop or computer out through your mixer, you actually want to engage the USB playback mode on channels five and six. If you don't engage this setting, you won't hear anything coming from your computer, like your music, or anything coming from your DAW, like your recording session. So whenever you wanna hear anything coming from your laptop that's connected to the mixer, you're gonna press the USB playback button here on the mixer. You'll know it's set when the button is pushed in and the USB playback light springs on. You're also gonna wanna raise the volume knob for channels five and six, and then you'll also wanna raise the main mix knob to hear everything also. So now to test it out, I'm gonna play some music from my laptop so we can hear everything coming through the mixer out of our speakers. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Sounds good to you. Now what's also really cool is that we can use the three band EQ and the balance knob to affect anything that's playing from our computer out through our mixer. So when using the DAW from your computer with the Rock Mix 8, we also recommend going into the sound settings of your DAW and making sure that it's set to the appropriate input and output device. So I've got my DAW open and just like we did for the sound settings of the computer, I went into the sound settings of the DAW I'm using and I'm gonna wanna look out for the output device here and the input device here. So right now it's not set to the device that we want it set to, which is the USB audio codec. So to change that, I'm just gonna open up the menu here for the output device first. I'm gonna go through the list of devices available and I'm gonna go to USB audio codec and click on it to set that as my output device. And it actually switched both of them at the same time. So now I don't have to check for the input device. And now we're all ready to go with our mixer. So now if we wanna use the mixer to record something onto our computer, we can go ahead and create a new track. From here, it's gonna ask what we wanna use as the audio input. And we can choose between input one input two and input one and two. And this actually brings up an interesting point that I want to bring up here. So when we're setting up the input source like we're doing right now, we can either use the mixer in a stereo configuration, which is input one and two together, or we can use dual mono between input one and input two. So in other words, all of the channels here on your mixer between channels one and six are summed together as channels one and two. So you won't see channels one through six separately in your DAW. So this won't work like a traditional multi-track interface. However, everything coming through the mixer will come out through channels one and two and record everything simultaneously. 
So for example, if I wanted to record a microphone and a guitar at the same time, here's how I would do it. So I would set the input to one and two together, again for that stereo configuration. Then I'm just gonna create my track and it will show up on our DAW right here. For my microphone, I'm gonna activate the phantom power to power the condenser mic. And now on both channels, I can raise the gain knob to adjust the sensitivity. Then I can raise the level knob to adjust the level for my mic and my guitar. And I'll also want to raise the main mix knob so that this way everything coming through our mixer will transfer out into our DAW and get recorded. So while we're using the stereo configuration for our recording today, there is one way I can separate the vocals and the guitar. I can go to the pan knob for channel one and send it all the way to the left side so that it shows up through the left side of our recording. And I can pan the guitar track to the right side so that it shows up on the right side of our recording. Now I actually want to go through one more thing before we start recording. So right now I have my speakers set up through the main outputs here on my mixer. And because I'm going to be recording vocals with my microphone, everything coming through the mixer is going to come out through the speakers. And that's actually going to be picked up by the microphone causing a feedback loop, which we don't want. So to fix that, I can use my headphones here so I can plug them into the phones jack on the top of the mixer. And I'm actually gonna wanna lower the volume on my speakers all the way down so that this way we won't be able to hear everything coming through the speakers while we're recording. And while I have my headphones on, I can raise the phones knob here towards the bottom of the mixer. And now I'll be able to hear everything coming through the mixer and out of my laptop while I'm recording. So now that I've got my microphone and guitar all set up, check one, two, you actually see the signal coming through our track here. So the guitar is coming up towards the bottom on the right side and the vocals are coming in on the top towards the left side. So I'm gonna record a sample for you guys so you can hear how it sounds. So right now you're hearing my voice and you can see it's coming through the top of the track here through the left channel and I can play my guitar at the same time. And you see that coming through towards the bottom on the right channel. So we're hearing it together and it's coming through the same track. And after we stop the recording, you can see the vocals on the top track here and the guitar on the bottom track here. Now say you wanted to record the microphone just by itself, we can create a new track on our DAW, set the input to input one and create the track. And now on the mic channel we're using, which is channel one, I can go to the pan knob and pan it all the way to the left so that this way all of the signal is going to input one, which is the left channel. And now if I talk into the microphone, you'll see the signal coming in nice and strong here. And let me record a sample for you guys so we can hear how it sounds. So here we go, check one, two, you can hear my voice. You see the track is being recorded here on our DAW and it's coming in nice and strong. Now you can also set your audio track to input two and follow similar steps. So for example, if I created a new track, set it to input two and create. And now you'll see that our track is all set up, but in order to see the signal coming through while we're using input two, we're gonna go to the pan knob for the channel we're using, again, channel one, and we're gonna pan it all the way to the right. And now you'll see that signal coming in nice and strong on our track here. From there, you can hit record and now everything will be recording through input two. And don't forget, you can also use the three band EQ to adjust the sound of our microphone or instrument that's plugged in through channel one or channel two. And lastly, when you wanna hear back your recording, you'll wanna be sure to bring the volume back up on your speakers. Make sure the USB playback is set up on channels five and six and raise the volume for channels five and six as well. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Rock Mix 8 with your computer and DAW. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.